Hey guys, 3D Tips is back here, and in this video, I will tell you how to export textures from Substance to Marmoset. I think it will help you to understand what should be the best workflow for this. Before we start, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel because I am trying to give you the best content from game industry. So, and it will help you and help me also. So, without wasting any much time, let's start. Okay, so to export this for Marmoset, um, you need to go to this file and export the textures. And because we are using, there is a no direct option to substance to Marmoset, so we need to create our separate group. So just go to this configuration menu. So you can see there is no option for Marmoset. You can create one. Okay. I will be aiming to Marmoset. It doesn't matter. You, you can also change any of this. But I like to have this original ones. And I will change only this ones. So in this I will create a RGBA. Which is um, a... a which contains a RGB colors and plus a alpha okay so in this RGB I am renaming this to diffuse plus roughness okay so um, why um, why I am putting this in roughness to this alpha I will tell you in marmoset but for now remember that it roughness goes to this alpha and this goes to as soon as you drag and drop it it will open this pop-up you have to select this grayscale channel okay and the space color goes to this and it's it will contains the RGB channel okay so remember that we create a RGBA and in the RGB we added the space color and the alpha we added this roughness uh, you can also check by these colors okay like uh, which texture is going to wear okay so now I'm going to create another RGBA and in this RGBA I'm putting here emissive plus metal okay so you doesn't need to rename this but I will I'm doing it because it is easy to understand and uh, the emissive map goes to this RGB and select RGB channel and this uh, metallic goes to this alpha and it is gray channel okay so um, as you see we use base color metallic roughness normal and emissive height we don't need height it will all it includes to this normal so the normal only will be fine and and to add this normal we need to create this uh, rgp1 uh, because uh, we don't need another any map so the rgb will fine okay so i will rename this to normal okay so uh, it, it will generate three maps okay um, and three all three are um, RGB contents and two of them have contents alpha okay so go to this export now you can uh, go to this configure menu and select the marmoset which is this one we changed and now you can select the location I'm selecting in documents tracer gun you can do anywhere uh, where your projects are okay select folder it's done now make sure you have targa on and yeah that's all now export open so uh, we got these three textures okay as we as we renamed it okay so I will open marmoset and Photoshop both and 
yeah let me make you understand first what i got here so i'm dragging this diffuse okay so this is a normal diffuse texture but if you go to this channel if you can't see channel over here you go to window and select channel okay so if you go to channel and there is a fifth map which is this roughness okay so what happened here that i exported the roughness into this alpha channel okay um, why i did that i will tell you wait go to this file and i'm importing my model low poly uh, i did post it little bit so i'm using this one now and first couple of thing i have to fix go to render sorry sky and i use this map uh, pretty much whole time it's a good one and i use this one right here and this is for the back rim and i change the color to white okay so for this background i don't use this so i only use the solid color so go to this mm, now uh, in the mode select the color and select any color what you like i like little bit grayish okay so uh, for now I will, now i'm going to set a material so that i could connect my textures okay so i, I create a material rename to trace a gun okay so i assigned it to both of them uh, the reason behind i didn't do like this because i this group has multiple objects okay so can you see so if i drag like this then i will have to add multiple times like this this right i don't like that so drag direct to this group it will assign both of them okay so in the normal map you will select uh, where is the documents trace a gun okay in the normal map i select normal map it's pretty easy oh wait sorry what i did here i guess in the export textures in the marmoset tab i don't need this normal i need normal open gel okay because this normal is mm, this default normal which doesn't have uh, detail it will it is totally flat i guess yeah as you can see it is totally flat uh, we need this normal okay this one open gel just drag and drop it to this rgb okay so now export it again marmoset okay okay so uh, as you see uh, we just uh, i just save it and it will automatically update that's the benefit to connect direct texture which is exporting from uh, substance like uh, this one uh, directly exported to here and i connect this texture directly to this uh, model over here so if i change the texture and click on marmoset then it will automatically update okay anywhere click you should update automatically so i got my texture on map and one thing more uh, if your normal is from my normal is from marmoset and uh, marmoset generate on open gel uh, environment so in my i guess maya marmoset um, these softwares are open gel and the max and something has the directx format so if you have any directx normal or you have seen some messed up normal just check with this flip normal uh, i think that will fix your normal what if anything happens to your model okay so now this gloss map and where um, uh, 
I don't have any gloss map but uh, in the Marmo set the roughness inverted roughness map is the gloss so what I'm doing here uh, I know that this diffuse okay this diffuse the, the condensed alpha channel which has roughness okay so what I'm going to do I'm selecting this roughness and gloss okay so as you see uh, if you directly assign a roughness map it will not work because uh, you ch see this channel it only support one channel at a time so there is no uh, RGB channel together it's only the red channel only gray channel blue and alpha so that's why I put this roughness into alpha so that I could select this one okay let me repeat once the what happened yeah. Mm, yeah if if I select only a red channel like this over here what it will do it will only calculate this okay it will only calculate this but if you see my roughness is different my roughness is this one not this one so I put it in my alpha channel so that I could select it over here okay I think that makes sense and the one more thing uh, if you select alpha it is now gloss but we need roughness not gloss so if you invert it the alpha channel that will be the gloss okay so I inverted it so as you can see mm, let me reduce the light little bit it's too much bright okay so as you see uh, there is a difference between my roughness like uh, you can see some scratches over here and these are more specular not this one and this one is much shinier okay so now I'm going to simply connect my albedo to this diffuse and no, um, there is no problem with this channel because um, albedo all default by default contains uh, RGB channel so you don't need to have this here okay uh -huh. you can't find even this channel option here because it's by default calculating um, RGB okay so now in the specular tab we need to change it to metalness click over here and change this to metalness okay and the metalness tab and if you see it also uh, um, calculate like this gloss map so that's why I put the wait my emissive and metal map together and the metal is on this alpha channel okay so I'm going to select it like this okay what happened okay yeah I select the metal map here and it I just have to switch this to uh, alpha because my uh, gloss map alpha channel my gloss maps sorry my emissive maps alpha channel contains this metal information okay so that's why I switch it back to metalness and don't need to invert it because metal is calculate is the right okay so uh, you are seeing this these colors are little fade right totally totally different so what you need to do um, in this um, texture you have this setting icon click on this turn uh, make sure that you turn on this srgb and your filtering should be 16x uh, but if your PC is little slow then you can select also lower one okay and yeah the, as you see in the albedo it's turn off this srgb I have to turn it on and making it to 16x and okay and same for the gloss map select this one 16x okay and no need to for the normal map because it will be messed up okay uh, the normal map is fine you can just make it 16x you don't need to actually 16x but it will uh, looks much better quality 
okay so as you see I got some really cool effects okay so the problem is my these lights are not glowing because I didn't connect the um, MSF map okay so in the MSF tab here you have to click over here and select MSF now in this map select this one okay so uh, my lights are glowing okay so it seems fine and one more thing you can do uh, if your MSF my MSF is some lighting is little blue so what I'm going to do I'm just going towards the blue and a little bit blue okay and the increase a little bit so it will look much better I guess okay so so I'm um, I can see gloss over here difference and gloss over here and this one is fine the normal looks good so now if you have any extra maps okay like if you have occlusion map you can add it over here okay like I'm showing you my occlusion map is somewhere else I'm just going to select it okay it's on bake I guess where is my occlusion that's this one okay so so as you can see it's give little more contrast to it a little bit this one is fine and um, I'm, I, I was um, I'm telling you that this is actually wrong okay because uh, my channel is showing R over here okay so yeah, in order to connect this you have to make it um, <coughs> put it in a uh, alpha channel so that you could could select this a button okay so to do that what I'm going to do I will open my normal map because these have already have two alpha maps but this doesn't have so I'm opening this one and add a alpha channel here okay and I will open my AO map in another window select all copy and in the normal tab I will paste it over here okay like this so uh, now I will save this save like this and it will you have to select 32 bit if you are adding any alpha channel to it because 24 bit doesn't contains any alpha information you, you have to select 32 bit okay so now my normal has the, the occlusion okay so what I'm going to do I first time I replace this normal because this was this was the old one um, press a gun yeah this is the new one so my normal is doesn't gonna affect because it will calculate the RGB but this AO will be uh, I can select this one normal AO and I have to select alpha one okay so yeah there is not much difference in occlusion map because uh, but uh, you will see major difference in metal map or gloss map if you don't put it in uh, your alpha channel because uh, there is no direct option to sh show RGB together okay so if you have cavity map you can add it here uh, but I will let it down no problem and if you have transparency map then you can use cutout or dither yeah or add also you can check okay yeah, if you extra map have so yeah this is how you get your substance painter pile to mama set okay thanks guys for watching the whole video and 
if you like it please do make sure that you subscribe and cause i update really cool videos on gaming industries like how you can model things or texture things and what is the best pipeline for this of uh, doing something like this so please make sure that you subscribe and i will see you in the next one